my name is Kelly Francis. My job title is Applications and Platforms Manager. I work for a company called Bellron. I won the UK IT Manager Award. My team suggested that it was something I should enter, which um, was very flattering and um, quite nice. Um, I wrote uh, an entry which consisted of answering a number of questions around um, my leadership style and current projects that were uh, in flight and um, made it into the top 10, which was which was very cool in itself actually. I, I was really pleased to make it to the top 10. Then I attended an interview with two people at Tottenham um, Hotspurs. Um, and I expected that to be really scary, but the guys that interviewed me were great and it was really nice. I felt really welcome. Um, and it was actually a really good fun afternoon. I was absolutely, yeah, very surprised. So um, I was sat at the back, as far back as you could get, um, with a number of people who um, I'd never met before. Um, all of whom on the on the far back table said, "Well, we're probably we're not going to win an award, right? We're right at the back, so we're not going to win." Um, we proceeded to have a few glasses of wine as a consolation prize, um, and it turned out the table was party central because we had six businesses represented, and we had three highly commended and two winners on one table, which was amazing. I think the award is important because um, too often, I think us in IT, we we kind of think of ourselves as shy and retiring and maybe don't celebrate our success um, and that means that the rest of the business and maybe other people around us don't realise quite um, how much we underpin and are really a core part of the business. So that recognition um, and getting an award really does kind of um, bring our profile to the forefront for, for our, our business partners. Have a look if you want to get involved, have a look at the website. Uh, there are a number of awards, um, quite a few of which I might enter next year, so different categories next year. Um, and there's a really good spread on there of, of categories and, and subjects. Um, and I would recommend picking a couple that you find interesting. Start a diary, um, maybe a, an online blog. And then as it comes closer to the award time, then you'll actually have some great material that you, know, you can start to build up your success. And actually, I would recommend doing that anyway, because actually it's a great way to promote your success within your team. And then to kind of look back and remember what you've done that year. So I think soft skills are really important in IT, more than maybe traditionally we've realised. Um, it's really important from, one, from a leadership perspective that you know how to, to work with your team. Uh, it's also really important from a leadership perspective to know who your stakeholders are, what it is that they need, um, what, what it is that they are relying on you from a technology perspective. And it's really important that the technology you create is people-centric, so really human-centred design involvement, which is all soft skills, it isn't just purely being able to code or create hardware. So I do think there is a skills shortage um, in the UK. Um, from my experience, um, recruiting, it's, it's always a challenge. Uh, it's a challenge from a perspective of both soft skills and technical skills, and particularly actually getting people who have a great mix of the two. Um, in my experience, I've gone as far as recruiting from outside of the UK to find that skill set, to find the right people, the, not just the right aptitude, but the right attitude. The biggest challenges I face at the moment are the world of technology is changing, uh, the expectation of your customers is changing, and people are IT literate, people have technology built into their home environment, to their car environment, and I'm not sure that we as an IT industry have caught, caught up with that. We are capable to, of creating that technology, but we're not thinking about how that affects our employees, how we, that affects the way that we run our business. And we have that balance between security and, and risk, but also creating an exciting, engaging technology environment for, for our employees and our customers. So why do I think more women don't apply for roles in IT? I think it's a very, very stereotyped environment. And then when you arrive because of the stereotype, there does tend to be more men in the environment you're in. And I guess that can feel quite um, alienating. So it, I, I, I think it, I've always found that the guys I work with have been really encouraging and, and have brought me into the team. Um, but if you see that from the outside, you don't necessarily know that. And, and, and maybe a lot of ladies then don't necessarily feel that they, they fit in a technology environment. In my experience of um, IT at school, um, I took science subjects, I took IT, very technology orientated, and I had male teachers who thought it was hilarious there was one girl in their, their classroom. Um, and hence the guys got more support and even though I'm as clever and as able as them 
I didn't necessarily do as well as them. Um, to, the, to the point that actually my IT teacher, I remember going back to my mum and saying, I'm never going to work with computers because he really put me off because he thought it was funny there was a girl in this class. I think winning, winning this award proves that actually it is possible to be recognised um, and to be female and bring that um, unique kind of way of looking at the world into the technology arena and that we need diversity, not just from, not from you know, gender but diversity from background and way of thinking. And traditionally, maybe we haven't had that, and that's maybe where we've had issues where we get very single-minded around the way to de deliver. So I absolutely wholeheartedly um, think that we should be encouraging inclusion and diversity in, in the IT industry. I first got into the industry um, by mistake, I guess, by, like a lot of women probably tell you by mistake. So I always had an interest in technology, um, was put off that at school, went into sciences at university, um, left university not quite knowing what I wanted to do, so got a temporary job as a receptionist, um, happened to be in a software house, and I was really inspired by the environment I was in. I, I met a lot of developers, a lot of support analysts, and they enjoyed their job, and I actually just thought, they were, I'm as clever as they are. Uh, I remember that I enjoyed computing and, and technology, and I just started training myself to do what they did and uh, was really lucky that uh, one of the senior managers in the company <laughs> came in one day and asked me what I was doing in his training room, boomed at me, why are you in here? At which point I was terrified, thought I was in trouble. And when I explained I wanted to learn about databases and, and coding, he, uh, he said, well, why aren't you working for me? And uh, instantly brought me into his team and that's, that's where it started for me. So just being recognised by one person uh, as, as really just having the attitude to teach myself and being interested. So he, he changed my, you know, my career and I'm still very grateful to him. My biggest role model is my mum. My mum, when I was doing my A-levels, was doing her computing degree. So that's a big influence to start with. Um, and my mum has always been a strong woman in, uh, in an IT environment um, and somebody who took education um, as a mature student when her children were grown up. Um, so that's very, very inspiring. And then from a uh, kind of later career kind of place, um, my current CEO is incredibly inspiring. So he's very visionary. He empowers his team to, to do the best they, they can with their knowledge. Um, and that's, he kind of really understands the idea of self-organizing teams and having, surrounding yourself by experts and letting them be the expert in, in, in what they do. And that makes our team incredibly empowered and um, inventive. We come up with new ideas every day and we deliver them, which is, which actually feels like great fun, as well as then actually delivering business differentiating technology, which is, at the end of the day, what we're there to do. What do I think makes a good IT manager? So I can base that on my experiences. I am genuinely interested in technology, so I have a good level of knowledge um, of all the areas that my team work in, but at the same time, I surround myself with experts who know more than I do, and I recognise that they're the expert. So I am able to spend time with them explaining what we want to achieve and what principles to, to use, but then I'm, I allow them to go and deliver that in the way that makes the most sense because they are the expert. So I think it's having a, a balance of technology expertise and understanding, but also um, empowering your team, genuinely empowering your team to, to go and deliver that and picking people who have the right skill set that balance each other um, and, and allowing them all to, to, to absolutely deliver to their, their best ability. If I had one piece of advice for somebody just entering IT, um, I'd just say just um, just do it. I mean, there's there's definitely <laughs> there's a skills gap. We need people, and if you've got the right aptitude and attitude, and you're willing to learn, and you're willing to start with some of the maybe less exciting tasks, but just you know to do the absolute best that you can with them, then you'll flourish. So, yeah, just just start. Um, maybe go and look for a help desk role, um, do your absolute best, to deliver more than is asked of you every day uh, and learn something new every day and you'll, you'll very quickly progress.